Dong Chai Street is 68 meters long. It stretches from Tran Hat Wat Chok Hop across road to Ma Mei Street. Hangbom Ward, Hong Kim District. It was formerly the southern bank of the Tulich River. In the past, the street bordered on Dong Chai Hectares Khao Ward, those who own Dong Chai Street faced Chiang Guyan, Huongia, Cha Cha Canton. Now, Dong Chai Communal House is still available at number 6 Dong Chai Street. Under the French domination, it was called Dong Chai Lane. Local people often call it Hang Trung Lane, different from Hang Trung Street, which is near Hang Mum Street. Egg sellers used to gather in the small and narrow street. There are some old houses in this street. I guess these houses may be hundreds of years old. They have been damaged by time. However, I am impressed most by the traces of time on the old walls. And this window keeps obsessing me. Luckily, it is kept well. These old house will show you part of history and culture of Dong Chai Street. I wish I could put these houses in a glass box so that everyone can contemplate them. And these precious heritages would not be damaged by weather and time. The next street in our strip is Chudich which used to be known for the churning craft. From Tran Het Duat Street turn right to Hang Away Street. Then turn left at the end of this street into Hang Laak Street. Go straight Chaka Street, Hanka Street, Luong Van Ken Street. Turn right to Hang Wat Street and turn left to Tudich Street. The street is 95 meters long. It links Hang Wat Street and Hang Gai Street, Hang Gai Ward, Hong Kim, Hanoi. Tudich was formerly a hamlet of Tiantuk district, then renamed Thuan Mai, all those who owned district. Under the French domination, it was called Tudich. It was expanded after 1920. Originally, the path to Tudich Street from Hangai Street was very narrow earthen and gravelly road. It became muddy on rainy days. Tudich means white mat. No one knows why it had such name because there is no document or no trace of the craft of mat making here. The dike footing by the river may have been the place for selling mats. However, this information is not mentioned in Dudiachi book by Gu Yen Tre about the mat selling war. Tudich is an ancient street but few old houses still remain in this street. Before coming here I learned that half of Tudich Street, the section bordering Hangai Street, gathered families of Nikkei villagers. The Ong Jin, Hanoi former Hectares Day. They brought the craft here. This work requires skills like carving with blocks, making handicrafts, wooden trays, round tables, seals, toys and so on. And humming tops are the toys attracting children in the Red River Delta. Tudich Street is also famous for the dish of mixed fruit in condensed milk. In recent years, many mixed fruit shops have been opened here. Passers-by will immediately be attracted by eye-catching colors and fragrance of different types of fruits. This mixed fruit street seems to become more crowded at weekend. After taking a walk around the old quarter, passers-by often stop by this street to enjoy delicious glasses of mixed fruit and condensed milk. However, over the change of time, there are now not many mixed fruit shops here. Nowadays, more services have been offered along the streets. We can easily see souvenirs, handicrafts like wooden lotus for worship, wooden fruits, 
used in engagement or wedding ceremonies, brocade cloths, woodcut paintings, stone paintings, wood statues, traditional musical instruments. Due to the variety of products, the street attracts numerous foreign visitors. Everything in her shop is nice and beautiful. The handicrafts here are diverse. Culture of Hanoi in general and of Tudich Street in particular is so rich. Guyet's family follows the tradition of making woodcut painting, stone paintings, and wood chopsticks. She is proud of being a Hanoian. She got married to a local in the Hanoi Old Quarters. Thus she has been taught with the traditional craft of her husband's family. Local people like Gu Yet and Peng are contributing to preserving the cultural identity of Hanoi Old Streets. There are still many stories about culture, history and people in shortest streets in Hanoi. Hanoians are so elegant and profound, from facial expression to action. The Hanoi Old Quarters in general and Tudich Street in particular are really appealing me.